Alright folks, my name is Frayne, and today we're going to be checking out Smallland. Oh, not Smallland. Smallland. Well, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Smallland. This is a game where you play as a small, sort of, fairy-like person. And try and uh, survive the wilds of the, the undergrowth. Surrounded by bugs, sort of spiders, nasty grasshoppers, you know, all those sort of nasty things that like to prey on small, fairy-like people. You're going to be building a base, sort of chopping down plants and grass and trying to make ourselves a little home. Now, I don't really know anything about this beyond what's written on the Steam page. This is my first time loading it up, first time checking it out. So we're going to go through, there's probably going to be very little editing in this. Um, we'll just see where the game takes us and see if we can uh, learn what it's about. And who knows, if we end up enjoying it a lot, maybe we'll turn it into a full playthrough down the line. But for now, let's uh, let's dive in. I have noticed there is an arachnophobia setting. Now, I don't like spiders in real life at all, I, I can't stand the things, but I do oddly okay with them in games, so I'm going to be leaving the arachnophobia mode off. I do know a lot of people who can't stand them in games though, so it's fantastic that that option is there. And if we do encounter a spider, I'll uh, I'll scroll it up and see what kind of different it makes to the way they appear. But for now, we're just going to dive in. So, brain, there we go. Is my character? This is this is us. Let's uh, let's have a look. Oh, male and female look almost identical there. Uh, a little bit different once you you change the face. Um, let, let's stick with regular. Um, we'll take the folded. Let's go stylish. Oh god, wow. Okay. Very pointy, yes. Sty stylish it is. Um, I think we'll take the mutton chops. Um, let's go with a, a white beard. We'll have the Billy form antenna. Oh, orange. Yes, that's that's my color. Um, I think we'll stick with the short hair. Let's go white for that as well. Eyes. Oh. Double pupils? Not sure we'll actually be able to really see that in game. Um, let's go huge. Gold. Um, purple dawn. Nightfall. Stick with pale. And facial markings. Let's take Righteous. So this is us. This is Frayne. Um, no, we don't want anyone to be joining our game. We certainly don't want it to be on peaceful mode. Let's create a new world. Whoops. Intrude land. And we'll start it up. Okay. So, bottom left, it looks like we've got a health. Uh, I'm going to shoot food temperature. Comes to the top. Greetings! I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows, as I have crucial information to impart. Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Outside you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first days outside the burrows. So, one owl effigy. The overland is rich with natural resources and food and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. 
You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources much easier. Oh, like these twigs! Got some resin. There's a sprout here that gives us fiber. Just, just the one. A twig. Some resin. Okay. So this is our resin here. I wonder if there's a, a weight limit or if we're I'm not having to deal with that. Maybe it's just to gather everything you can. I don't see a weight indicator anywhere on the screen. Um, tab. Tab is our inventory key. So yes, nourishment, stamina, health, temperature. We are well nourished. We are sheltered. I still don't see any weight limits, so I guess it's a slot cap. Crafting. There's a map. And uh, time of day, I see. Compendium. Okay. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged in your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. I've already done that. Look at me getting ahead of the game. All right. Um, let's keep moving then. Press tab to open the inventory. Already worked that one out as well. Select the codex to help keep track of all the workstations and items you can craft at each. You can also check on which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Now I wonder if that's, uh, that's armor sets in terms of actual function or more of a skin. Hmm. Make our character look very fancy, you know. See who doesn't want to do that? That's what these games are all about. The Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate, with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. Do you think that's hundreds of real yards or hundreds of yards relative to our size if it's hundreds of real yards we may never make it out let's grab everything we can insect eggs yeah don't know what they're for but i'll take them Um, what have we got? What have we got? Sectional car. We can talk to all these guys. Insect eggs. You're all saluting me. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try and make our way out into the, the wider world, shall we? Hi, bear. Hi, guys. Um, sentinels. There's some more owl effigies. Small wood. You can lose health due to a variety of factors, being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from a great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished, or sleeping. So we need to sleep. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all can choose stamina. Pay attention when it comes low and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Okay. So our stamina bar appears in the middle when we use it. Press M to open the map and see your position in the overland. Adding custom markers to your map also show up in your compass. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get some of these. We've got plenty of wood, I think. Think. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe we'd. I mean, until we hit our slot cap, let's just grab it all, I guess. Um, what's this owl have to tell me? Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted out of the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you will need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Open the crafting menu with G to see which items you can craft from the get-go. So we need a crafting item to craft new items. A crafting bench. Um. Well, we can't make any benches right now. Got Firefly Torch. A torch. Um. I guess it's just a colour difference, perhaps? All builders need this tool, whether you're making a home or constructing workshops. Hammer is a must to quick to start building. Primitive club for attacking any threats. Which we appear to already have. And a wood hatchet for harvesting resources. Okay. So, let's make a hatchet. And a hammer. And I suspect we're probably going to need a torch as well. One of each. There we go. Unlocked! Campfire, workbench, simple bed, simple chest. Equip the hammer to construct. Ah! Oh, before we go any further. This is the guy we were told to talk to. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Ernest Manikabi. For most small folk, simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Uh, could you craft me some armor? I was told to report to you. Um, give me some armor. Sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all the necessary materials. I'd like you to craft me some armor. Um, so we've already got Traveler's Gauntlets, Torso and Legs, Basic Cold Protection. Um, lightweight Clothes provide minimal protection but allow you to move quickly. So there's Light and there's Padded. Padded provides protection from the cold. And Light is less protection but 2% bonus movement speed. I do like movement speed. Um, yeah. There's no protection at all on the light gauntlets. Whereas it's nine cold protection and one... Armor, one armor protection on the padded braces. So those uh, padded braces are as much protection as our entire kit combined. Right, um... And it's all of our fibre to make them. Let's have some padded then. Can we scrap? I don't think we can. Um Okay, so we can go straight to the crafting by pressing C to cycle them. Can I ask you some questions? What is the overland? Which tools should I craft? How do I build a shelter? Where can I find food? Let's see, um, which tools do you think I should have? Wood club, builder's hammer, wood hatchet, I, I've got all of these, damn. You can craft these basic items without a workbench, you need to have enough materials. Okay. Um, well then, let's have one last chat. I've been told to report to you. The Elder Ludwig has requested your presence, go see him at once. He's staying in the cave just down the hill. Ludwig. Okay. Make sure to eat and drink regularly. Being well nourished will make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. You find delicious berries in the forest. Hunt creatures for food or cook your own meals. You can eat food raw or prepare it and other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. 
Okay, let's put that away, shall we? Um. Ooh, now. I wonder if we can get enough fiber here. Um, we don't want twigs, we want sprouts. If we can get enough sprouts, edible mushrooms there. If we can get enough sprouts, maybe. Maybe we can get him to make us some better armor. Um, and we've got the hatchet. Can I? No. It's just they still glow. Hmm. But they still glow when we're in a resource uh, discovery mode. Stay away from deep water. We can't swim! Upon death, you will respawn at an activated bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you die. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. But we can't swim. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, I, I learned to swim a long time ago. I'd like to think I could remember. But I guess not. How much fibre is that? I think you wanted 15? Temperature will drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out as night creatures are normally more dangerous. Okay. Let's go back up the hill and see if we can get some, uh, some armour then. Yes, armor, please. Um, so let's see, two percent movement speed on each of these, and we also get a bit more protection on the legs and the singlet. I only make one. All right, singlet. Still need another nine. All right, let's uh, let's move on. I wonder if I have any food yet. Do I have to go and gather it. Mm. Can't plunder the barrels. You got moth antenna. Vanguard, finally you're here. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. I have an axe. Who is the apothecary? What's in the chest? Do we have any idea who might have taken the key? Have we tried forcing the chest? We dare not, it is heavily reinforced and we would risk destroying the elixir. Well, that already answers that question. Sorry, that question there. Um, we received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out the settlers and investigate their claims. Okay. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. The wilderness is filled with danger. Well, I shall leave then. Do you have anything I can plunder while I'm here? Um, fiber. Um, I take it this is the chest, yeah. Um, it won't budge, okay. Four leaf clover cavity, the bottom section moves slightly. Push it! No. Oh. Okay. So it's definitely going to be a key thing then. So, do we go and make ourselves a little place to live? Obviously not as spiffy as this cave, but somewhere to live. We go looking for a key. Um, you know what? Actually, I think first we need to go looking for food. 
They sent me out into the world. Without a full breakfast. Hmm. Little lag there while it loads in the new area. And that's one big owl effigy. Butterfly. Oh, that's... Those edible mushrooms? You feel hungry and thirsty? I know! Okay, so we need the axe to cut these. Um, are those... No, they're not automatically harvested, they're on the floor. Now, next question. Will they go off over time? Tasty, nutritious, small folk favourite. These mushrooms grow back faster after rain. Okay, let's put those on our bar then. All of them? They stack up to 30. Fibre stacks to 30. We've got some mushroom steak. Provides five times the nourishment of an edible mushroom. Insect eggs we can eat. Okay. Well. It's a little bite to eat then. We're not going to get very far with just mushrooms, are we? That's, uh. <laughs> mm. I need more than that. Right. Plenty of butterflies around. Um, now, map. Um, Karlov, we've just been, been to Hearn, we've been to the Elder. So I guess we should go over to Karlov. There's Drustana over there. And Skadin over there. Let's go to Karlov. There are five distinct weapon types your vanguard can wield. Blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. Ow! I was reading that! Oh god. Oh god! I don't think I'm... The best at combat. Um, they didn't really train a soldier, you know. Half a health gone. Um... I don't have any mushrooms left, can I? Okay. Creatures you encounter have different strengths and weaknesses. Pay attention to the icon next to the health bar, which determines which weapon type will be more effective. See, if I'd been able to read that before I was attacked, maybe that would have been uh, slightly less painful. They knew I was about to discover their weakness, you see, and... Hacked early. Preemptive strike. Knowledge is power, and they wanted to stop it. Precipitation, such as rain or snow, can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow faster. Furthermore, weather affects temperature. Um, I'd like some food. Is this going to be uh, half of my gameplay? Just chopping mushrooms. Looks like we're into night time. Um, there's no first person. Well, at least not by zooming in. Should probably check the controls, actually, shouldn't I? Is there a first person? 
sure lots of people want to know. Um, we can slide. Sprint. There's a block with E. Toggle perspective. Said. Orbit camera left. Alt. Okay. So. Orbit camera. There is a first person. Alright, we'll, we'll stick with third. Mostly curiosity. I do usually play games in first, but we'll stick with third. And we get a little slide. There we go. Owl Effigy says, When you dismantle a structure, all materials used when it was originally built will be dropped and appear as collectible loot. Damaged structures can be repaired at no cost. I guess I should build a structure, shouldn't I? Um, we get our respawn at beds, and I currently don't have a bed. Um, should we live by the water? We do need to drink, it's said. We have to keep ourselves fed and watered, but I also can't swim. Ah, but maybe neither can the enemies. I mean, not a lot of spiders can swim, so I feel safer here. Right. Structures. Um, campfire, source of heat, and cooking. Workbench. Simple crafting. Simple bed. Simple chest. Um, foundations. Let's make one of those. Oh, wait. Can I... Can I rotate on... All sorts of weird axes. Uh, let's just just make a small two by two base for now, shall we? Um, okay, twig and leaves walls. Um, let's have a window. Um, there we go. I like to have a window on each side so I can see what's coming. Door. There we go. Right. Walls. One. Two. Three. Four. Um... Doran. Very nice, yes. Okay, um... What kind of fancy roof do we want? Corner leaves roof. Leaves corner. Corner leaves roof. Or a leaves corner. Sorry, leaves roof corner. Hmm. Or another corner leaves roof. Um... Oh. Let's go this one. Can we snap that on? There. You just have four of those, please. And finally... Hey, right. Can build decorations, a little chair, cabinets, prep table, torch. Um, yeah, let's just put that there. Ah, um, that fire's quite big. Um, you think that's going to attract bugs? 
Mushroom steak. How many? Takes three. Okay. Takes three, but it gives 30 food. Whereas an edible mushroom is six. So we're getting a sad sort of 66% boost over what we spend. And it blocks our nourishment loss three minutes. So I'd say that's worth it. Um, we're going to want a bed. Small bed goes there. And I need three more wood. Okay. Now I wish I'd been picking up the wood more often. I've been primarily getting fibre because we needed so much of it for our armour. Nice, I can hold the torch in the other hand. Um, They said they were missing a key. I hope it's not that one. I'm only small. Uh, needs mandibular pickaxe or better. Okay. Mandibular pickaxe. Uh, some twigs there. Oh, and some ants. Do you have mandibles I can... Um, they take... What's that? Their weakness is to... Sword Icon. Um... Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't two of you. I just, just meant the one. Change my mind. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh, thank God I got down this bed. Um, half of them are disappearing before I get a chance to to loot them. I'm going to go hide inside as soon as I got my food. Is it instant cooking? Oh, it is instant cooking. Right, nice. Let's uh, let's hide then. Well, this seems a good place to stop, so we'll press pause on this for now and pick up where we left off in the next episode. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments, and if you've enjoyed, consider leaving a like. It all helps support the channel. Thank you very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one.